Hey, Nick, uh, nice to see you. Um, I do confess, we did actually drink a few beers last night, so my voice is poss possibly... I'm getting you're, there, too. You're the reason my voice is like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, uh, that L.A. Um, Nam and Buchland Friends kind of thing, it's been really fun. Yeah, absolutely. So um, you're here with Buchland now, and uh, we're looking at something new for the... Uh, um, this system, right? The Easel series, yeah. yes. It's the Aux Oscillator card. This is going to be debuting imminently. Um, they're going to be ready to ship really soon. Um, if you are familiar with the old Bemi series, you are familiar with the old Aux card. This is sort of the uh, updated version of the Aux card for the new 208C. So with the 208C revision of the Buchla 208 voice, that's featured on the new Easel Modern, Easel Retro, and the uh, easel command over here, some of the things that were on the old aux card were made redundant, like the CV inputs to the envelope, the pulse input over here, and that's been replaced on here with a CV multiplier, so you can do a little bit of tenuversion and voltage utilities and a random pulse input. And it also, it's primar primarily a auxiliary oscillator. It's a digital oscillator that allows you to add a third oscillator to your music easel setup, and I have sort of a, a not so musical but very timbrely rich patch going to show off some rudimentary three operator frequency modulation. Okay. We want to yeah, yeah, turn up one of out. the low pass gates here. So I've got the output of this oscillator going into the frequency modulation in on the modulation oscillator, and then that is then modulating the complex oscillator and I have high and low range on the modulation oscillator or on the, uh, the aux oscillator and a continuous wave shape control as well as a noise generator and some ways to send and receive voltages from the 208 voice is this uh, an analog or digital system? What's what's going on in the, inside the box? So the auxiliary oscillator itself is digital, uh, but all of the sort of voltages that are being passed around the system are all, of course, analog control voltages, gotcha. as with everything in the, the Easel series. Get a little bit more. Put that into high range here. So with the card system, it's one thing at a time. You can't do a sort of breakout and plug in multiple external cards. So not quite, because we have a card doubler. So over here we have, um, well, it's uh, the program manager. And we actually have a card doubler that would allow you to both run a program manager and an aux os oscillator card at the same time. Um, and I've even seen third parties that have, uh, I think, a, th a three-way card slot. So the card system, I think it's super cool because there's all these third-party companies making stuff for the, uh, the easel cards. And uh, so it's really just another way to make the easel like your own instrument. Yeah, absolutely. Make it able to do things that, uh, you know, it's not able to do out of the box, but just expand its sonic palette. So this guy is, uh, is it production ready? Is it in production? It what? is. This is the first production unit. Um, we're really excited to show it at uh, Buchland Friends and uh, show it to our friends, our Buchla friends. And uh, yeah, they'll be shipping imminently, like imminently. within the next couple of weeks. Have you got pricing information for it yet? Or Sorry? Have you got pricing information for it yet? Uh, I don't have exact pricing information, but I can say that it will be, uh, it will cost less than the old Bemi aux card. Okay. All right. Thanks very much, Nick. Yeah, thanks for having me again.